The San Francisco 49ers and wideout Brandon Ayuk have been stuck in contract negotiations for months, but I don't think Niners fans have anything to worry about because rookie receiver Ricky Pearsall will be a force in year one. The force is strong, but this one... You asked for it and we delivered. It's Fan Friday, and you, the fans, chose today's topic for point of view. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know which 49ers wideout you think will be must-watch in 2024. Of course, there's the obvious option of Debo Samuel, or some may say Juwan Jennings if Ayuk leaves and he sees more targets. But there's something about a rookie that adds a little extra intrigue, and in the case of first-round pick Ricky Pearsall, there's a lot to be excited about. He was very good at Arizona State, but honed his skills with the Florida Gators the past two seasons. In 2023, Pearsall caught 65 passes for 965 yards and four touchdowns, and added another two scores on the ground. Now, to be honest, he isn't the most athletic skill player taken in the draft in terms of speed and strength, but he is one of the best true wide receivers in terms of catching ability, route running, and understanding a defense. Here, he shifts to the opposite side of the field and gets the DB to bite to open up the inside route. The pass is behind Pearsall, but he adjusts for a key third down conversion. He didn't have the most accurate quarterbacks throwing to him in college, so he got a lot of work adjusting to balls like this, which will definitely help when playing against professional defenders in tight windows. And I did say he wasn't the most athletic skill player drafted this year, but he's still a total freak athlete with a 42-inch vertical. Here, he snags a one-handed catch off a dart in between three defenders and somehow hangs on through a penalty. Now that's the type of play you just can't teach. I think those two plays alone qualify Pearsall for the title of the top must-watch player on the Niners, but he's got more to offer than just spectacular receptions. But before we get into that, here are the results of this week's poll question. Thanks to everyone who participated, and look out for another question next week. Now back to Pearsall. He's an absolute menace in the punt return game and could earn that role in San Fran. I know they just signed Trent Taylor to replace Ray Ray McLeod for punt returns, but Pearsall is a better replacement for McLeod in both special teams and as a slot receiver. At Florida last season, Pearsall returned 11 punts for 126 yards, which comes out to an 11.5 return yard average. He'd only returned four punts in the four years prior to his final collegiate season, so it just shows his natural instincts and quickness to be that effective and electric with so little experience. And if you don't believe me, here he is against Arkansas last season fielding a punt off the bounce. He turns up field immediately, and you see multiple defenders go from sizing him up to chasing him down in the blink of an eye, demoralizing for the punt return team. Now I'm obviously not saying Pearsall is a go as good as Ayuk, but I don't think the Niners need a one-for-one -one replacement should he land elsewhere, and Pearsall provides enough in year one to maintain the level of offense they've been used to with Brock Purdy under center. And even Ayuk himself thinks Pearsall has what it takes. Here's Niners GM John Lynch and head coach Kyle Shanahan on what IU said after they chose Pearsall 31st overall. Brandon just texted. I think, uh, <laughs> got on the way in. Yeah. Fire pick. Fire pick. Is that <laughs> a lie? Can't lie. <laughs> so Herm, I talk to Herm though a lot. Herm, I, Herm, uh, you know, Herm and I are close and, you know, I remember when he was a true freshman at A-State, started telling me about this kid and how excited he was about him and spent his time there and then moved over to Florida and, uh, you know, even upped his game against, uh, you know, as good a competition as you'll find in college football. So there you have it. It's a fire pick in the eyes of the player he may be tasked with replacing to some degree. Of course, the best case scenario is having both on the roster in 2024, but the reports aren't sounding too promising. If Ayuk is out the door, rest assured the offense won't skip a beat with Pearsall filling in. And Pearsall wasn't the only major addition this offseason. For more on how Leonard Floyd was the best free agent signing of the offseason, check out this past episode of Point of View. Enjoy the weekend, and we hope to find you here again next week.